the well. Snared had nine points in that first quarter, nine out of their 15. He's at the point with the ball on that right side against the man-to-man -man defense of the Lalamere Lakers. Nairn fires another three and got it. He's got two threes, two for four from the outside and 12 points. The Buffaloes lead as they're large the game at seven. He's quite the player. Oh, he's off to a great start tonight and I just, I can already see him up there in East Lansing coming off that high ball screen and knocking down shots just like Keith Applin's been doing for years. Tom Izzo's got a pretty good player there in there for next year. Kick by Roman Young. And it stays here with the Lakers underneath their own basket. And a bounce pass goes to Inuwa. Pass out to Coleman. He missed a three long. And the, here come the ball flows. They're not a team, despite the fact that they have a good backcourt that likes to really push the ball. I think they'd rather have that out, that half court set. As a three is missed long. Rebound tapped and run down by the Lakers. On the push on the other end. In the paint is 2-2. Hangs, fires, and scores. He'll go to the free throw line for a chance at a three-point play. He's an impressive point guard himself. Oh, he is. He's a great point guard, and that's one of the best things about this game tonight. We've got two elite-level point guards. And right there, you saw him get the long rebound in transition and just attack the bigs and finish at the rim through contact. Hong let the defender go by and just got it in. Sinks the free throw as well, but it's 2-2. Some think he could be the best point guard of the class of 2015. As Lalamere comes out, what does that matter? 1 2 2 trap, 3 2. It, it looks almost like a 1 3 1. They're not extending too much. I don't think they want to get exposed with any backdoor cuts, but I think they're just going to try and change up the tempo here. You know, Sunrise Christian was a nice little flow offensively, and uh, I think they're just going to change things up a little bit and maybe get a turnover, which they just did. Pusica got the air and turned it over. Called for a travel. Ball goes back to the Lakers. They can try to cut down this lead, which was at its biggest of the game at seven for the Buffalo just moments ago. Toy will be on the three-point line. It goes to work against the defense. The defender tripped. Ball goes out to the wing player Coleman. He rims it in and out. Rebound tapped up in the air. Battled for like a volleyball, and it's tied up by the Buffalo. And they're going to get a foul. I believe that will go against number five, Coleman. And that's, that's a tough one to live with if you're the coach there. You gotta love the, the energy. You know, he thought the big guy brought it down a little bit on the rebound and tried to force the jump ball. And that's one of those calls that could go either way. You, you've gotta enjoy the passion and excitement of a young high school player. That's the eighth foul on the Lakers. And unfortunately, the second foul on Coleman who comes out with just three points. He had a solid first round of game with 15. Well, I think he can still put up 20, maybe even 25 points a game. The foul shot is good for the Buffaloes. The third trip to the line for Hosni. He's now two for five. As the second free throw is good as well. He is three for six, and the Buffaloes lead is back up to six. With just under 6.30 left to go in this first half. It's been a fun one so far. Maybe a little bit different than what we thought it'd be. Two teams that are fantastic on the offensive end, showing off their defensive ability. Bounce pass, corner, Logwood, he skips. Driving, runner, blocked by Hosni. And here come the bump flows the other way. Nairn draws contact, and he was fouled on the ground. And he'll go to the free throw line. A veteran move right there. You had fouled, maybe toss it up and hope the official will give you a two. Yeah, that's the call. I think he's a few levels of basketball away from getting that continuation, but you've got to love the way he attacked. You saw the defender trying to cut him off, but he was on his heels and just attacked him and got back to the free throw line where they seem to be living tonight. Nairn, after that free throw, has 12 points in the game and 32 in the tournament. Taking a foul shot coming for the future point guard of Tom Izzo's squad at Michigan State. They call him Tum Tum. He sinks them both. He has 13. The Buffaloes now have their biggest lead at eight points. High left is 2-2. Got 2-2 versus Tum Tum. Off the pick. Pulls up from 12. Missed it short. Rebound tapped up in the air. Loose on the floor. And the Buffaloes come away with a 50-50 ball. Here comes Snared in the paint. Side steps the defender. Runners missed. Tapped up on the air. Rebound again for the Buffaloes. I believe that's seven offensive boards for them. Three ball from the top of the key. It's good by Pusinka. 
And the Buffaloes extend their lead to 11. That draws a timeout from the Lakers. The Seek have 15 points in round one. Again, St. Louis Christian Academy. He's that typical European player. Very smart. He knows when the ball goes up in the air, if he sees a free space beyond the three-point line, he goes there. And he was open and knocked it down. Yep, and the thing you love there, you mentioned he got to where he needed to be, but you got to love even more that, that his teammate who got the rebound knew right where he was going to be and hit him in stride for the shot. And that's something that's impressive from a team this early in the year, I think, already showing off their chemistry. And it's 24-13. 5.33 left to go. We thought entering the game, and it's tough to tell this early in the year that Lalamere would be the slight favorite, but right now Sunrise Christian is making a, a statement up by 11 points. Bounce pass to Longwood. He hangs and scores from the left side. Down nicely by 2-2. It's back to a single-digit lead. Yep, and that's just a great play out of the timeout. You, the lead was starting to get up there towards double figures, and you went right back to your go-to guy and, and got him an easy basket at the rim where he really excels. Longwood, who averaged about 20 points a game last year, has six now. Ball goes high left against the zone. Over the head of Kusika, out of bounds, and another turnover for Sunrise Christian. And Ryan, we see there now, Lalamir is trying to get back into this game, and then now they've went from man-to-man to 1-3-1, -man to -one, and there they were in a little 1-2-2, -two -two, just trying to change up the tempo and and throw a little curveball here to, to Sunrise Christian and get them off their game a little bit. Lockwood trying to drive, gets in the paint. Nice just went to the basket, missed the layup, but drew the contact. And they'll go to the free throw line for two. He can really do it all. He's got a great 15-foot jump shot, then very strong going to the basket. He has a Division I college build to him. Yeah, you know, he's, he's got a great athleticism, but the thing you love, out of the 20 points he averaged last year, he scored them in so many different ways. And in, right now, to get his team back into the game, he's going to have to keep driving to the basket and knock down some free throws. Free throw is good from Logwood. 24 points against Christian Brothers College. Roman Young, number one, back in the game for the Buffaloes. The two-star recruit out of the state of Kansas. Second foul shot coming from Logwood. And the lead is back to seven for the Buffaloes. Lalamere showing a little three-quarter court press. The Buffaloes break it pretty easily. Pass out to the right wing. It's knocked out of bounds. It'll stay here with the Buffaloes. Nice defensive play there by Young, who is just a sophomore, but he looks like he's got a lot of potential to be a great player. 